JJ second shot at Georgia. What do you guys do to slow Edwards down a little better than the first time around? Uh, just, just focus. Just everyone just has uh, do better on the defensive principles. Uh, first game, the coach is telling us we got to corral them a little bit better and everything. But we still got to uh, guard the other players too at the same time. They have a bunch of uh, players that love to get up and down the court and uh, score in transition. But we just got to close out shots better, uh, got to rebound, and uh, just be in the gaps on those driving gaps that they, that they love to uh, go in and everything. But we just got to focus on defensive principles and everybody, not just like one person. What do you remember about that and how it got away from you, especially in the second half? Uh, we, yeah, he ended, up, he ended up getting hot. Edwards ended up getting hot. Uh, then once, once he got in the groove, all the other players just started just picking up, just going off the energy that he kept bringing and everything like that. But uh, yeah, we got we to make shots. Uh, got limit turnovers. We had a lot of turnovers, I believe, that game. Uh, and they, they ended up beating <laughs> us on the uh, defensive boards. So we got we to gotta pick that up. We gotta, everybody got to rebound. Everyone has to do their job so we can end up uh, getting the win. What is it he does that makes him what people say he might, be, <coughs> he might be the number one overall pick of the draft? What is it that kind of makes him special in that sense? Uh, he's very athletic, I'll say. Uh, he has a really good IQ for the game. Like, he has a very good feel. Uh, he, knows, he knows his sweet spots on the court. Uh, so that, he, he uses that to uh, affect the defense. So. Like when everyone's just watching him, he knows how to get his uh, teammates involved and everything like that. Then his teammates all also help him with that, just finding him, finding him in his sweet spots, so uh, he can help them uh, get buckets on on their end. Looks like when he shoots the three, he gets it off pretty quick. It's a really quick shot. Uh, yeah, it's very smooth. It's not like uh, yeah. steps to it. It's just right. real smooth. It just goes straight up. But. Uh, yeah, his 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 jump shot is pretty nice, and like he does a little rocking mm -hmm. stuff into it to get into the shot. So mm -hmm. he, like I said, like he knows the sweet spots on how to uh, get the shot off. Is he one of the best guys you've seen individually this year? Uh, this year, I'll say yeah, he's pretty, yeah he's pretty solid. Uh, like I want to say like one of the best because there's there's a bunch of <laughs> bunch of guys that like that are up there too. But uh, yeah, he's pretty he's pretty up there on on being that effective on the offensive end. Uh -huh. JJ, how important is this game for you guys to get back in the one column and build some confidence as you get ready to go down the stretch drive of the regular season? Uh, it's very big. Uh, we lost the last two in a row. Uh, that we, we really thought we should have uh, won. We just just lack of effort, uh, rebounding, and just just not all being collect like having a collective thought uh, and everything like that. But we're gonna uh, practice today, practice tomorrow, and uh, just see just see how. Um, so we can get back in our rhythm because we know we know we're, what we're what we are. So we gotta make shots, uh, rebound the ball, limit turnovers and everything that the coaches give us. So we're just gonna use that, uh, put it all towards one thing, and try to get the win. You feel when like you're collective not making effort. Shots. How difficult is it to to play the kind of defense you need to play? Uh, we know that we we like to uh, force teams to shoot corner threes. So. <laughs> It, we got to contest at the same time, and then at, with that contest, we got to rebound at the same time. So it's just—it's like it's a—it's a, it's a uh, compound. It just yeah. all flows into the other thing. Yeah. So if we're not making shots. We know we got to pick up the defensive end. Then if our defense isn't clicking and our offense isn't clicking, there's just two exits to the column. So we just got to pick. We just got to pick them both up, and just everyone has to just play full out. You feel like efforts wide that Florida game got away from you in the second half? Uh, I would just say, uh, no, I don't think effort was it. It was just, uh, we just we just couldn't make a shot. And then they end up getting hot. Like we forced them to shots that we wanted them to shoot. They end up hitting. We got to contest better. And uh, we got a rebound too. So, but yeah, shots shots was, was one thing. I don't say it was effort because I don't think our effort is like ever just bad. It's just how the flow of the game goes. It just, just stretches away. Like the game, basketball is a game of runs. So, we got to slow the run down. We just got to find a better way of slowing it down. I know in y'all's defense, you you want them to shoot that corner three, and there's times that even when y'all do get a good contest in, they are able to hit it. Does it seem like with what LSU was able to do and South Carolina was able to do and some of these teams that you, you feel like you're going to get a break sometime because it's a low percentage shot? Uh, yeah, like our, like the percentages throughout the whole year, uh, the corner shots one of the lowest percentages. Like we we want teams to shoot it, but it's a low percentage that it's going to go in. But teams <coughs> they hit them. Like our coaches always tell us, they never hang your head if we want them. We make them shoot the shot we want them to shoot, but it just ends up going in. It's a good defensive possession. It's just they hit the shot. We just got to uh, 
just keep making if they do it nine times if they do it ten out of ten times like like it's it's not going to go that way like we just gotta we just gotta keep forcing them to shoot those corner shots so we can get the rebound push on the other end run the play get a shot up get get the rebound or whatever and uh, just use it that way just keep letting it build towards our defense and letting it build our offense at the same time. Has it surprised you how many teams have been able to get hot from three point range against you? Like I said, like LSU and. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it surprises us every game. But we know teams are going to hit hit shots. We're in a we're in a very good conference, so there's a bunch of players that are able to hit shots. Uh, so we just got to keep contesting them, making making their shot harder. Uh, when they get to the lane, we got to stay in the drive, everything like that. But uh, yeah, like we just it's it's just all comes down to just just going out there and playing basketball. Like it's a bas it's basketball, so everyone's gonna make shots. So it's nothing like too too like technical into it. Just gotta go out there, contest their shots, and hope like not hopefully they miss, but it's just gonna. I hope hopefully it works out in our in our way. Thank you. Thank you. You did that in the first half, and they kind of kept you down a little bit in the second. When you're having those stretches when you're not scoring, what can you do to open it up, and then what can maybe the guys around you do to help get you going? Uh, when I'm not scoring, I can do a better job of rebounding and just playing defense. And in the second half, I kind of got taken out with whenever I caught it. I kind of like seen a double team every time I caught it, so I, I wasn't going to really force it through a double team. I just wanted to throw it out, let my teammates kind of you know, score. How important is this game for you guys to get back into the win column, get some good feelings heading down the stretch drive this season? Uh, this next game coming up is a really huge game for us to get back to 500 and just get back on track. You know, we lost the past two games, so every game is important, especially this one against Georgia. It's our second time playing them, and it's a, it'd be a good opportunity for us to come back and you know revenge the, the last game we lost in them. Is the locker room down? You guys, how you? <coughs> uh, the locker room isn't down. We know the, um, the season is long. The SEC conference is very tough, you know. So like, every game is a fight. We just gotta, we just keep watching film and just finding ways to um, clean up our play and just, you know, we just keep pressing on. That's all we can do. So what are some things you guys have to do in the next two days to ensure that this two-game losing streak doesn't end up turning into a three or four-game losing streak? Uh, the next thing we, we got to do as a team is just gotta keep um, keep our perspective strong. What we're doing, we can't. Let the um, past two games kind of like carry over to these two games. We just got to do a better job on defense, a better job rebounding. Just all the little things that people don't kind of realize in the box score, we got to do a better job of those. I know the crux of your defense is trying to get the other team to take low percentage outside shots. Have you been surprised at how many of those teams have been able to get on shooting runs from behind three point, like LSU and South Carolina and, and last night? Um, kind of not surprised by it. That's kind of the way our defense is um, orchestrated. We want teams to shoot contested threes. Whenever teams get on runs making them, it's kind of uh, it's kind of on us as a team. We got to got to contest those threes. When they're when they're making them, it's likely that we're not doing a good job of contesting them. How much what does it mean to you, uh, and how hard have you worked to go from a guy who Coach Williams said he didn't he didn't know out of high school out of Cypress Lakes to a guy who's going to get a chance at, mm -hmm. uh, to continue your career after college as mm -hmm. well. Uh, honestly, it means a lot. It just shows that you know where you start doesn't kind of mean where it doesn't mean you're going to end there. If you start as a person that's unheralded or nobody knows about you, that, that doesn't mean that's what, what your final destination is. If you just keep working, then you know you never know how things will turn out. So it just shows that you know hard work really takes you a long way. Anything else for Josh? Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you.